from Shasha Jamal, and right now we're about to get to know a little bit more about Andorra, the first Malaysia hospital by women for women and kids. And right now I am joined by Dr. Kamsi Ahmuda, chairman and founder of Andorra, and also Dr. Taufik Chowdhury, executive director of Andorra. All right, so first and foremost, can you just tell us a little bit more about the background of the company? Yeah. Um, Andorra is, a, uh, is uh, Malaysia's first private uh, women's hospital that is specialized for providing high quality um, uh, combi combination of hospitality and hospital care in one. Uh, we aim to be uh, Malaysia's premier destination for women. Uh, that is across the board, whether you're Muslim or you are you're uh, non-Muslim, uh, whether you're Malaysian or you're non-Malaysian, uh, and uh, and uh, with the grace of God, we've uh, been open for about uh, this is our our third year in operation, and uh, we expect to be um, uh, in uh, everyone's uh, mind at the moment. We believe that we are one of the best hospitals at this point in time for our services. Uh, Dr. Kamsia is our is my partner and. Uh, and uh, founder of the hospital, and uh, I'm also one of the major shareholders with Dr. Khamsia. So Dr. Khamsia, can you tell us um, what's the difference between uh, the products and services in this hospital compared to normal hospitals out there? Um, Andorra provides um, service to all women and children, and what is unique about this hospital, because 100% of the clinical staff, they are all women. So right from uh, the consultants, they are all women consultants, and also down to uh, the cleaners and the, the uh, nurses, all they are all women. Yeah, oh, what's unique about the hospital is, um, first of all, it is by women for women. So the vast majority of the staff and 100% of the clinical staff is actually um, female. Uh, and that includes the doctors to the nurses and then the back-end staff that is supporting them. That's number one. Secondly, it is uh, the best mix that I have seen. And I, I'm a doctor from Australia. And I've, this is the best mix of private care with hospitality and hospital care and excellence in, in both. So if you're thinking of a hospital that is inside a hotel, um, and you want the best of food, and you want uh, a private butler, and you want a massage, and you want uh, uh, you know your car to be uh, valet parked, and you want um, all of those services. This is where Andorra excels. So we aim to provide. Uh, we, we have essentially written down everything that's wrong about hospitals on a piece of paper, and we said we're going to cross it all off. So what's the worst thing about hospitals? Hospital food is terrible. So we said we're going to provide. Uh, master chef quality food. We said hospital ambience, as soon as you go in there, smells of medicine, it uh, feels threatening, so we're going to provide the best of that. Uh, we find that hospital clinical staff are threatening, they are difficult, the customer service is poor, we said we're going to find the best of customer service. And we said a hospital always feels like uh, this is the door to your grave, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, but we're going to feel like, you know what, you want to come back to hospital and have more babies because you know what, this is just the best place to come to. And so we have experience that our patients actually don't want to leave our hospital. They want to extend their stay simply because they really are enjoying it that much. It's like a hotel, that's right. And what is the main objective uh, this hospital is for women only and children? Right. Uh, I believe Dr. Khamsia can add that on because she was the founder and I followed her vision in this. Uh, but for me, the, the biggest objective or the main objective is to uh, provide uh, Florence Nightingale quality uh, passion and care within an Islamic Sharia compliant context uh, uh, that achieves the best of, best of East and West and that's why we chose the name Andorra because it comes from the word Adurra in Arabic which means pearls and women and children are like pearls in the Quran Allah calls them pearls and so we said we want our hospital to shine like a pearl because women and children are like pearls and that's the best mix of Eastern uh, medicine, Eastern values and Western quality health care and that's what that's what I believe it stands for. Right, amazing. So um, you guys are here today at APHM. Can you tell us how does this exhibition help um, the company or the hospital? Yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a great um, endeavor uh, where uh, like-minded people uh, that are providing a very needed service to Malaysia uh, have come together. We know that in Malaysia, um, two-thirds of the medical sector is private. Uh, so it's a very critical 
uh, backbone of uh, medical provision in the community and uh, APHM is one of the premier places where they can all gel together and share ideas and best learning and practices and perhaps um, come together to try and help Malaysia achieve uh, first world status in terms of healthcare delivery. So now last but not least before we end our interview for today, um, can you just uh, share a little bit of your thoughts on CATHIS? Yeah, uh, CATHIS I believe is a is a uh, app that uh, helps you deliver digital media uh, through your apps as well as uh, through online and um, saves you multiple costs in, in, in printing material. Um, so that is a, a good development and we hope that people benefit from it and uh, use it and uh, uh, reduce their marketing budgets and uh, achieve far more penetration through their to their clientele. Thank you so much Dr. Taufik and Dr. Kamsia. That is it from us and I'm Shasha Jamal reporting for CAD This from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia.